Let's check in with Chuck Holton, who's on the ground for us in Ukraine. Chuck. Hi, Kilmeny. Uh, imagine taking your family to the airport or the train station and kissing them goodbye and knowing that it's likely you'd never see them again. We came from the central train station here in Kiev earlier this afternoon and watched that scenario play out over and over and over again. It's absolutely heartbreaking. They are running about one train an hour going west. It's free, but only women and children are allowed on that train. And they are sending them out west uh, all the way to Austria sometimes, uh, getting them out of this country in advance of what they know is going to be a very, very hard fight for the city of Kiev. Now, uh, all those trains coming back are not necessarily empty. One thing that we found today is that uh, the Ukrainian government announced that 66,000, more than 66,000 men, Ukrainian men, who lived outside of Ukraine have returned to their country in order to fight for their country. And that tells you a lot about the uh, moral superiority of their cause. Uh, when you look at the numbers out of Russia, we're told that Russia is seeing a massive out-migration of military-age males as they run away to keep from being conscripted to come and fight in this, this battle. All right, Chuck Colton, we appreciate that reporting on the ground. Heartbreaking indeed.